everything that we've done with constraints so far has made the assumption that we drew first and applied constraints second. But what we're going to do now is look at our geometric constraint settings control here, and we're going to turn on what's called inferred geometric constraints. Now what these do is they kind of work in tandem with us as we draw using good technique to make sure that we have things projected orthogonally, that everything connects, we're using our object snaps, everything that we normally do to draw well. Well, as we draw well like that, these inferred geometric constraints will start to build up as we go so that we don't have to go back after the fact and apply the constraints. Let's see how it works by just drawing. Here's what I'll do. I'll start a line command. I'll come over here to the left. I'll just go ahead and track over horizontally like I normally would, and I'll just put in a, a 20 foot distance. And we'll see that a horizontal constraint was inferred here. As I now pull down and away from here in a perpendicular direction, again, tracking 20 feet, we'll see that a perpendicular constraint was inferred. And we'll do this again, I'm moving in this direction. And what we can see very quickly is that as we draw, it's actually interpreting what we're doing and applying constraints as we go. So if we were to do something like draw a line from this midpoint to this midpoint, it would actually place uh, coincident point controls there and understand that these two points were actually constrained together. So now what we could start doing is editing this geometry using things like grip edits, and we would actually see behavior that's driven by constraints, even though we never had to worry about applying constraints to the geometry after the fact. Now, obviously you could do a lot more work on this and you could go through many more examples, but the most effective way to get the feel for it is to try and do something like I've done here. Take a piece of geometry that you would ordinarily draw, use the control here to make sure that your inferred constraints are turned on, and then simply try going through the drawing process and seeing how the constraints are generated. By doing that, you're going to get the feel for how the constraints stack up and how easy it is to start working with constrained modeling very easily by simply allowing AutoCAD to infer the constraints as you draw.